I'm going through my. Here we go. Okay, so right now it says Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, Tidal, Amazon Music, and YouTube Music. Mm-hmm. Um, I am making a Audio Mac account because some of my other songs are on Audio Mac. It made it there from my distribution before, but I think I'm gonna manually do that and um getting a Discord. Like I think I had I had a Discord, but I'm gonna get another one. I'm on Discord, so make sure you let me know. So I yes. Can Let's go. So Discord, and then I'm trying to get like a Patreon or a Twitch or something, um, because not a lot of people can handle the raw, and I, it's just like we gotta understand what is for what on these social media platforms. Mm-hmm. Like I told you before, Instagram is for pictures. They just want to see you <laughs> pretty. They want you to shut the hell up. It's like a shut trophy your wife. Pretty little face. Up. Listen, Instagram is. You know, yes, Instagram is a wife. husband that just wants you to be the trophy wife, take the pictures, and shut the hell up. Okay? Why are you thinking this? Right. <laughs> and then t- Twitter is for the gutter. Who can handle the gutter? Mm-hmm. It's, they'll take whatever, but really they just want the spicy talk. They don't give a shit about pictures. They don't give a shit about videos unless it's pornography. Right. They want spicy talk. Unless it's got talk. that little button where you got to say view because this content might be too explicit they be like, oh, yeah okay. exactly <laughs> twitter is just for the beef and spicy talk that's what everybody's there for they're waiting for you to beef with somebody they're waiting for the spicy talk TikTok, uh, yeah tiktok is a, is it's an all game played but <laughs> but they are really definitely for the videos facebook is just for i i, I hate what people <laughs> say it's for the old people but it's just like it's for those i don't even want to say old people it's for those who are stuck in the old world mm-hmm. and i say the old world in that it's like let's evolve it's it's evolution time but when you're stuck in your ways and you don't want to evolve and i know who said that that's bad yeah that's just a we're comfort not that it's not, yeah that it's not okay to be on facebook we're just saying that this is a comforting space but i feel like it's, it's a security blanket yeah it's for watchers it's for people who watch your life and you you either get one of the two you have people on your page who absolutely do not like you and they keep up with your life based off of your profile statuses that. and yes, your pictures that. or they it's your family who loves you there's no in between <laughs> there's no in between if you have a spouse they want to see who you're interacting with mm-hmm. no in between there's no in between. it's either good or bad on facebook it's no in between so yeah <laughs> did we miss one what about snapchat snapchat is for people who um who they they like the porn of Twitter, mm-hmm. but they like personal porn. Okay. And and that can come in many ways. Personal porn can come in visual, visual porn, or it can come in uh, communicative porn. Mm-hmm. So I think Snapchat, word yeah, word porn. Snapchat is for either the sapiosexual or the just the sexter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. A, that was a good rundown. The sapiosexual or the sexter. Yeah, or people who are just they're detached like snapchat is for the the detached because there's no um there's no what word do i want to use there's no accountability on snapchat because it has that cookies right so it's just like if you're looking at it's it's for the watchers who want no accountability so now instagram people watch you but it's just like if you like a picture, you kind of save the day. You kind of make it seem like, oh, I'm liking your picture, so I'm still interacting with you. Right, so right, it's right. just like we still have a relationship because I like the picture. But <laughs> you, snap- saw me, you saw me liking your picture, right? So I mean, I was thinking about you. But no. Yeah. The thing about me is getting in my actual phone right. and not necessarily my Instagram, you know, this is a topic for another day. Definitely, just so you guys know, Romy and Blanche will be back uh, with Blanche from Mad Love is back with Romy to have discussions about life. We're going to unpack some of the things she talked about. She and I talked about different things related to life, like love. <laughs> mm, yeah. And so is. we'll come back and give our opinions. Or the lack thereof. Or the lack thereof. And we'll give our opinions and uh, give you guys an opportunity to tell us your thoughts. And I appreciate today because I have really enjoyed this. I haven't, I actually haven't done a podcast in a few months. Um, I have gobs of podcasts that I need to edit. Mm. But so this is like jump starting things that I have to do for this particular mm. platform myself. So this has just been a, a really awesome and awesome conversation, which is what we said we wanted to do. We wanted it to be more of a conversation than an interview. I had questions. 
So these are also some of the questions I probably would have asked if I didn't already know some of the answers. Thank you. Because I hate questions. I know you And do. I feel like I'm not that big popping yet to even really speak on things. So I mean, we're just going to rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Because but, I said, but I said I felt that. I didn't say that I it know, was accurate. We're going to rebuke the feeling. Yeah. Because we're gonna how rebuke you feel feeling. is when you get to your elevation place, it starts with how you feel and how you think. Yeah. And so without being arrogant about it, because arrogance, as I've told you before, arrogance is saying something that you believe but it's not actually true but mm, the truth is mm. is that you have the power to be the greatness that you want to be and you will be that if you can start in your mind and in your feelings and sell yourself not in a way that tears other people down but mm. that your greatness is going to be what helps pull people up Jesus. okay so yeah so we rebuke any feeling of not feeling great and big enough because you already are you're just going to be bigger than you are right now right so we do still have questions though so okay. stretch <laughs> so this is more so since your uh one of the goals of this conversation with me today has been to inspire others there's some people that may be tapping in specifically because they want to understand music a little bit better you've been doing this for 22 years and 22 years when you didn't really know if it was exactly what you want to do but you know that you love doing it Mm -hmm. um, so what are four things that you would tell someone who is interested in making a name for themselves in the music arena? Um, whether it's things that you wish you knew before or mm -hmm. things that from your experiences you know now that just, just four things. If someone came in here and said, Lillian, I really want to get into music. Can you tell me four things that could help me understand that process better? Uh, the first thing I would do is uh, learn the business first because the, the 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 business part of it is what's the most difficult and it's the it's what's going to help you sustain unless you come from a rich family mm -hmm. um you'll definitely need to know the business um have work ethic have you have to have like a work ethic because there's going to be days where you feel like you just absolutely can't do it and i mean i man listen the weapons will form against you but when they will they not prosper. Well, listen, they will form, darling. <laughs> darling, but they shall not prosper. Uh -huh. God Look, she, listen, God. she's rebuking and stopping it. But when you're in it, you don't hear that. When you're in it, you all you seeing is weapons. And so, I mean, daily, even today, I'm like, God, what the fuck? Am I, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Because, I mean, the weapons be forming so much. It's just like, are, is the universe trying to tell me that this is not what I'm supposed to be doing? So, I mean, just to be perfectly honest, it's just like I'm winging it. I'm, I'm, I'm making plans, but we know about life. Sometimes the plans don't happen as you want it to. So, um, even whatever whatever you're doing specifically, stay on that path unless something changes. Because it, it might pivot. If something else co comes up and you end up pivoting that way, you may be able to still, it'll bring you back to the place that you want to be. But it just might be in a different way. It might look a different way. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I mean, like, for me, it's music and film. Like, acting was my first love, and I wanted to do music, and just seeing Brandy come up and all these other people come up, I'm like, well, damn, when you're a singer and you convert to being a an actress, you, they don't appreciate you. They don't take you serious. But then if you're an actress and try to be a singer, they don't take you serious as a singer. So it's kind of like a caveat. Mm -hmm. Catch yeah, but... um. And I did journalism, so I did radio, and it, and I did radio, went to broadcasting school because my music wasn't taken off. But doing that helped me to come right back around to music. Um, so that that's two. So just really have the fight, mm -hmm. you know, be ready for the fight. And then um, three, is this about being successful or just just any, it's just for some any random person came in and walked how in do you, and said, like, how do you be successful? just tell me what I need to know about this game. About music, the about music, music game, the music game. Into the music oh, okay. Game. Um, and so people will not know the vision, but you have to make the vision come to life. Mm -hmm. 
And so for me, it was going in studios, listening to other people's music that I did not care to listen to and music sometimes that I just absolutely did not like. And if I didn't like it, anybody who's listening, I would have told you. <laughs> or I'd just be like, you know, people know me. I'm going to tell you. Right, right. But <clears throat> they're not going to see the vision. Right from the hip. Yeah. And so and it, it requires you to learn and be educated about the stuff that you want to happen because people aren't going give to you, give you what you need until you show them that that's what – you need. And when I say that, I'll give you an example. Me doing shooting, like, wanting my videos to look a certain way. Mm-hmm. People are like, oh, she be using it. And it's just like, that ain't it. That don't that, that, look, that looks low quality. That looks like this, this, and this. And at times, I feel like, damn, I can't afford this. But in order to get my vision for people to respect my brand and how I want my brand to look, I had to not pay bills and pay for a video just so I can say, hey, this is what I have. If you can't do this, I don't want it. Mm-hmm. And so um, just like really, really fighting for the vision that you see. Because other people, they're just not going to see it. They're not going to respect you at all. Mm-hmm. You have to show them better. You can tell them. That's hard. Yeah. Um, and then fourth, um, really invest in, in yourself. Like you really have to invest in yourself. And, and it's different from the three. Because it's a spiritual, it's a spiritual investment, and as cliche as that sounds, you have to be ready for any type of success, whether it be music or even if you're a construction worker, if you're a foreman. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you know, unfortunately, you know, living in the world we live in today, um, there's a caste system, and uh, even though everybody should be looked at and treated as equally. Because there were some people who needed superiority, mm-hmm. um, if you quote unquote climb the ladder, even though everybody is a help, everybody is a help to everyone. Mm-hmm. Everyone plays a role in 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 life's success. Everybody plays a role. So, if if you are working out of or own a building. The guy who owns the building has to walk in the door. There has to be somebody to open the door for him to make him seem like he's higher than thou. Mm-hmm. There's a person who's at the desk. There's the assistant. There are all these different people that make up this sort of system, which I don't agree with, but it feels good. It feels good to quote unquote be on top. I'm not going to lie. Like even as a singer, if you're going to certain concerts or you're going to places and you get backstage access VIP yeah you know what i'm saying and it's a it's a dream it's a, VI, a very important person mm-hmm. the feelings is in the words so it does those things do feel good and even though i don't like it i've been benefited i've benefited from that but um in that you are going to get enemies you're going to get people who want to do what you're doing and this is music contracting work mm-hmm. even if you work at the ymca there is a manager there's a person who owns the building there's a supervisor and there's a person who works at the desk and then there's you who works for the kids and then somebody's always wanting somebody else's position and those are people who aren't happy with themselves but if you stick to i think if the world stuck to and went after things that they preferred instead of things that they feel like other people Either, either that or or just not simply going after the things that they actually want to do. People are very unhappy because people feel like they have to just um, they have to just survive. And a lot of us are just surviving and we're not really happy with what we're doing because there are some people who are janitors who are very happy with being janitors because they get to be around people. And um, I know me personally, even with work, I, I prefer things that's not going to keep me in a building all day. It reminds me of Dave Matthews Band, Ants Marching. Mm-hmm. That song, Ants Marching, um, where really the overall theme of the song is people have these um, daily routines, and then they're all doing the daily routines to die. Mm-hmm. And so uh, even making money for my music outside of music and outside of production, and I mean, really, though, I, I, when I left the, the library after almost a decade, I decided, I'm like, I just cannot do a nine to five to support the music. Mm-hmm. But I love that because I was around the children. You know, I love being at the library because I was around the children. They inspired me. Uh, they really gave me energy. Mm-hmm. 
Um, but I wasn't an energy sucker. <laughs> <laughs> I gave I as, an energy yeah, succubus. <laughs> I gave as much energy as they gave me, and I gave back, and I left there when I felt like there was no more that I could give that space. So you, you know, more value to it. Yeah. It wasn't adding any more value to right, it. Right. Absolutely. And the universe won't honor if you're the energy vampire. It just won't honor that. But um, getting to this place, right? Even though I'm not where I absolutely want to be and there's much there's further that I want to go, there have been different people to throw different wrenches in there or just not understand me or understand the process or things that I'm trying to do or, you know, whatever. So just basically investing in yourself so much that you are mentally strong and you are physically strong. Mm-hmm. Um, and that you have confidence. Because, emotionally strong too. Yeah, emotionally strong. But you have to have the confidence and the confidence comes with the investing in yourself. So um, even though I don't have a vocal coach, the times that I was able to speak to certain people or do certain classes with a group of people, mm-hmm. I learned you know, I learned that. But when when I did that, it just made me have confidence doing it around people. Mm-hmm. And um, so with the confidence, man, it, it helps you. The more you learn is how you get confident. Mm-hmm. And so investing in yourself, education, physical and mental, mm-hmm. just it's just preparation. Have preparation. So I guess if you could say anything, but invest, investing in yourself slash preparing. Yeah, it's very important to. I always have subscribed to the hierarchy of life is whatever your higher power is, manifest in yourself, but not in a selfish way. It's a like how when you're on the plane, they say you gotta put your mask on your face first before you help anyone else. Mm-hmm. So that's the investing in mm-hmm. yourself. You have to invest in yourself spiritually. You have to make sure that you are centered in making sure that you're hearing from God first and foremost, before you listen to any other thing that the universe mm-hmm. has to offer you. If you have a significant other, that person comes next. But if you don't, then your family comes next. And then it's your friends. And then you have your hierarchy of friends. But at the top three is God, yourself, and your family. And then God, yourself, and your significant other. Mm-hmm. And that's how you kind of stay <clears throat> in that trinity, in that triage of really understanding what you need to do. Everything else after that is icing on the cake Mm -hmm. but the cake are those three things and being able to invest in yourself and center yourself is how you not only achieve all your goals but again as i said before which is what i manifest for you is to be able to say i'm here but let me pull back and see who else i can help Mm -hmm. along the way you absolutely can't do that unless you are investing enough in yourself to be strong enough to take you on and the aspirations of someone else. So I think that those are excellent four things for, like you said, that is, we're talking about the music industry, but that can apply to anything that you're doing, those four things. And I I believe you've achieved what you wanted to in this conversation, which is inspiring others to be the best version of themselves for whatever they plan to do. So I want to ask you, the little girl that you mentioned that was yourself, the happy, go lucky uh, singer, the one that was enthusiastic, got to be in my mom had a purple dress on. Mm. If you had to say anything to her today, tell me what would you tell the young, younger version of yourself, whether it's advice, whether it's, it, no matter, it doesn't have to be advice. It can just be if she came in here and said, hi, Lillian, remember me? Mm. And you'd be like, hey, yes, girl, I remember you because you are me. What would you say to her? Mm. Today, I'm gonna make you cry. Don't cry unless but, um, you really want to. Girl, I would say, girl, you got it, honey. <laughs> and I don't know. I think I really need to talk to her now. <laughs> you know, she's a part of me now, but it's basically like reassurance, and it's okay. Like, even though some days I don't, like I have a tribe, mm-hmm. but some it's. And I don't know if it's just the, this expectation or, of course, spiritual land. Because mm-hmm. in my mind, I have a certain way of how I think life should go and how I think the people in your life should be in your life. Right. Because even the even online people look like they're really a part of people's lives and they're really their, their worst enemies. 
So maybe it's just the view. Mm-hmm. How Hollywood has set the standard of what <laughs> great friendships look like. But I've, I've seen real friendships and, you know. Um, but it's like, I would tell her, I would be like, girl, people are going to say some of the meanest things to you. Mm-hmm. But I would say cut cut negative talk out faster leave people and forgive people and like I really tell her like you're enough mm-hmm. I tell I think her so many of us as children need to take note of that we're enough yeah like your girl you're enough you're enough and uh it's okay to um to change, have different people like around you, I guess, because for me in my natal chart, I guess I've come to peace with that people will be in and out of my life because mm. I forgot what house it was, but basically um, it said that I would have a lot of uh, fair weather friends mm. and it was crazy reading that because my entire life I've had those types of friends mm. and um, at, the, at their expense or mine. Right. And um, I'm like, damn it! Why did you make my life this way? But my North Node is in Aries, and shout out to the Aries, no matter where it is. <laughs> and so, like, I really want love in this lifetime, but based on my chart, and you know, talking to my hypnotherapist, and first of all, God is a Almighty God, and um, even though these things are what they are, either numerology wise or astrological wise, you know, we do serve the a wonderful God. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think things were made for us to figure out life. Mm-hmm. And I feel like those things were in place and they're there just for, for understanding purposes. Yeah. And um, so with my chart, this lifetime, I am really supposed to go after my aspirations. I'm going to go after my passions and my dreams. Regardless of what your support system looks like. Yes. And, um, but I... It's like I loved in a different in a different lifetime, and mm-hmm. so I'm so accustomed to wanting love, mm-hmm. and so that can kind of be a hindrance in being seeing the success that I'm supposed to see. Because even with that passion and success, other people eat off of that, um, in a sense that other people will be inspired or are inspired. Other people will be inspired or are inspired, or they learn lessons from my life. And one of my good friends, Black Lennon Solomon. He's another artist in Charlotte. Um, he was actually the first artist to ever pay me to open up for him. Mm-hmm. I don't think anyone else ever had. I did have another friend before him. You know, he housed me in a hotel, a very nice hotel in, in Raleigh. Fancy. Yeah, it was very nice. But um, he told me, we had this long discussion, and I was crying about the friends who had passed away. I had, you know, three friends who had passed away one recently when I was in Charlotte and I didn't even know it and I didn't find out because I went where is he at why is he in hitting me up mm-hmm. and um I found out that he had passed while I was in town and we had just had this long talk mm-hmm. like we literally talked for like four to six hours mm-hmm. and it was all about my career and he was just calling me superstar like all these three people who have passed call me superstar and um now I just I have gotten, my mind just totally just left me. Mm-hmm. What were we talking about? We were talking about what you were supposed to have done and what you should have done. But what else, what, where did I get to this point? We were basically just talking about uh, the fact that sometimes you're going to have support systems and sometimes you won't, but you really still need to understand that you're enough. Oh, okay. Continue. Uh, we're talking about the people who have been your support. System. Yeah. I'm sorry. I was just about to get engulfed in like sadness because I have just oh, been that thinking. A, that's a fresh one. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. I was just. Ugh. But um. Jesus, just think about that again. Like it just really took me off. But uh. Even though it's a sad story, my favorite part of the story is that so many. say their things they want to say to people that they're that is important to them before they go yeah and having the opportunity to for four to six hours like having that 
and knowing that four to six hours wasn't four or six years ago that was just a month or so ago that and it was it was like literally right like days before you put up the like you know just a but my friend solomon he said because he's lost two brothers two of his brothers had passed have Mm -hmm. had passed um over the last few years and um he was just like lil I forget why I do the music stuff. He's like, I do the music for me, but really we are put on this earth to help other people. Like Mm. the music is not about us. Like it's about helping other people. And so he referenced Sade and- You see the- the, the, (laughs) You see the plush sculpture that's in there of my girl Sade with the Martian sewed up on her arm. Listen. Yes, I love some- and don't, don't get me started. Oh, Sade, baby, okay. listen, go ahead and sing a, t- a tune or two. Nah, but... nah, this is your show. <laughs> but Black, Black Lennon said that Sade has been loved. And she, he said even in the songs that she's made, like even, he was like, take for instance, Soldier of Love. Mm-hmm. She literally has been a soldier of love. And through it through different ways, and she, he's just like, man, imagine her talking about somebody who's like a prostitute who's deemed unworthy to other people. However, she shows up and she gives love to these men who are in need of it mm-hmm. at those times. And it's just like, I, I'm just thinking about sex workers overall. They're really demonized by so so many. However, they bring the comfort to the ones who need it. Because who knows if they weren't there? What would happen? They could be strung out on drugs and die. They could, you know what I'm saying? They could go home and abuse someone. Because, I mean, I, I have seen where when people have just that someone who gives them affection and things like that, it helps them navigate the world differently. And it helps their inner, yeah, because just think about it. There's a meme online on Instagram where there was this, um, Somebody said something about, uh, I guess they side chick was, uh, it was a real, mm-hmm. their side chick was breaking up with them and then he went home and he had an attitude with his mm-hmm. girlfriend. Mm-hmm. But that's literally our interactions with different things in life and different people mm-hmm. affect the next person. Everything that we say and do is an exchange of energy. It's an exchange of energy. It's so it's just, And so you have to remember to operate in a way in which is beneficial to someone else because even if you're angry any word that you can it's going to have a trickle effect and I had a friend named his name's Aaron Aaron Sean on Instagram and he made a post and he made a call to men to say hey how you treat your significant others like the women in your life like we are the leaders and they need us to lead and based off of how you're treating them it's going to affect others. So that's just like, even if a single woman doesn't have a man in her life, the, 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 you know, she could have resentment. And then even if she doesn't want to express that to a child, the child either feels it energetically or that woman can say something or do something. And even with the man, vice versa. Or when people do something, something happens at home and then you go to work and they say, oh, leave it at home. But it's just like, we are human beings. How do you it will take a certain level of compartmentalization to dismiss that. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no effing way that, like, what? <laughs> there are I mean, I'm almost with you guys going to see her. like, what? Like, I mean, come on, be for real. Like, you're, you're expecting people to be robots. And I think we need to get out of that. And that's why so many people are getting hurt, getting hurt by others because there's nowhere, to, there's nowhere to put it. And uh, I heard another quote the other day that said, hate is just love that has nowhere to go. It is, because I just explained to someone recently that the opposite of love is actually resentment. It's not hate. There's mm. still a passion there if there's hate. When I listen to people and they want to tell me how to go get back at their ex, and I just be looking at them and be like, you don't have an opinion on them because you still love them. Yeah, because, because when, you, <laughs> when you don't care about like okay, I am. I, I, I am you're, mean and different. I'd be like, oh, I'm off that. Yeah, I'm off you. 
it's yeah, okay. I don't, I don't care. But when it, when you have that feel, even if you, uh, even if you do hate somebody for the things that they do, it could be so. It, it, the love is that you wish that they operated differently. That's the love. I love you so much as a human being. I wish you were a better human being. That's love. And and when I say stuff like that to people, I'm not even saying it for me. A lot of people, especially because we're in Paris, we got that in our tail. <laughs> because of that first zodiac sign, people think that when I say stuff like that to them, it is because it's for me. No, it's for you. Yeah. Because whether I'm in your life or not, you need to understand this experience, this lesson, this not best version of yourself right now. This isn't going to take you far with anybody mm-hmm. or anything. Yeah. I love you enough to be honest with you. Anyone who's not honest with you is doing you a disservice. It did, yeah, and I'm not talking great about disservice. I'm not talking about a person that's dishonest just because like they're not being honest in a relationship. I'm saying if they see if they love you and know that your vision is this, this is who you want to be. You, Lily and Blanche, want to be a singer. But then they see your actions not lining up with what you say you want for yourself. The people who care about you, even if they don't love you, are going to say, no, mama, let me pull you close, Lily said. Let me pull you close. Let me have the conversation that you're not having with yourself. Mm-hmm. Because you told me, as someone who cares about you, that this is who you want to be. This is what you want for mm-hmm. yourself. But you're doing this. Let's work together to figure out why you're choosing this for yourself. Are you self-sabotaging right now? Mm -hmm. Or is it that you're not confident that you can do it? Do you need help? I'm here for you. Right. Right? But most of the time when you try to tell someone the honest parts of themselves, they want to bash you. They want to be like, it's not all about, it's not all about me. This is about you because whether you are great in this area or not, I'm going to still be great at the things that I'm great at and I don't got to be here. Not as a beer you burn. Okay. (laughs) So (laughs) you, you hit you hit the nail on the head with the hammer. We just giving you all a taste because this is what we about to be about I'm this so year. Okay, we about to we gonna dip into all kinds of stuff. Y'all better tune But in. even as you said that, <laughs> I went away in my mind to different experiences that mm-hmm. I had and just to, where people they didn't give me the truth. I'm like, wow, those people mm-hmm. they really didn't love me. But anyway, they did. People do you a disservice when they're not honest with you. But in doing the honesty thing, it is also a way, a tone, an expression. Yes, and saying it's, it's not about tearing you down. And so, and it's okay to say, I appreciate what you said, but I don't appreciate how you said it. Better Fast. dial it back. You better recognize who you're talking to. Anyway, girl, back to you. <laughs> I'm so good. I'm so good. Okay, talk to me. <laughs> so I want to know how uh, followers of By Martian and from AdLibs to Zephyrus can get in contact with you. Oh, uh, um, gosh, <laughs> TikTok, because <laughs> that's what you are, right? you like, I'm all things TikTok right now, forget me. Yeah. You her breakdown of all the social media. She's trying to tell you TikTok is where you go find yeah. her, and don't you worry about them other places. Yeah. Really most often. Lily Go Gruff music. Lily Go Gruff music. And the only reason why I say that is because I feel like there's such a, man, TikTok is so free. Mm-hmm. It's so, you know. And I'm on I'm on Bego. <laughs> Follow me on Bego. Like I'm I'm just so spell that because I don't even know what that B-I-G-O. is. B I G O. Okay. But I don't know without the N. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Um, but there are just so many different platforms that are outside of these other places because I feel like you have to be somebody than who you actually are on these other platforms, and and so even, a facade. it's a it's a big facade. But I think even on the 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 generic apps and things that because it was, it's, it's generic uh, up against what people think is the norm right, right, right. even though people have been on these apps for so long for like so long. Tango like I had Tango many many years ago have Tumblr? I have Tumblr no I don't have Tumblr I couldn't okay. get into Tumblr see Tumblr was a I feel like it's Instagram. a dark web it became a dark web it became a very dark place but when I first had it it was one they used to have this thing um it's like you can ask anyone you can ask a question of anyone but it was anonymous yes yes yeah, so that's when i first started with it and then after that uh instagram had a relationship with them and a few other ones so when you posted to instagram you could also post to twitter tumblr something that i feel like was popular overseas somewhere mm. and, and so, you was anonymous doing it oh no no, no. that was this is oh. a completely separate thing that part
part was it would tie right into your Tumblr, and it basically was its own separate blog. So mm. it was kind of like an auto posting yeah. environment. But I, I think they took it away. I don't remember. Did I make it? I feel like I made a Tumblr, but I never posted anything. And mm. then I had like a Reddit because to me Tumblr was like a Reddit mm. for me. I have Reddit too. I have Reddit, Discord, all those things. Yeah, I, I just need to hop over into just the Discord world because this other shit doesn't matter. I, I feel like the non-techies are on the social apps. Like, I feel like the people who have a problem with evolving are, are mainly on those because um, I was telling somebody about the different apps and discords and things like that. They're like, what? But it's a whole different world. And but it also looks so much like ghosts, like the old or die. Yeah, it yeah. Looks it's like a, so much like I said ghosts like too. But it looks like the old system systems. And I think for people, they've gotten used to the HTML coding that makes everything facade beautiful mm-hmm. that they can't look at the raw. Yeah, yeah. It, the, you know the what I'm saying? Because I'll be honest with you, I'm, the Discord I'm on, and I wish I could remember uh, exactly what it is. I'll make sure I put it in the written part of this uh, blog post slash podcast. So that you know, because I'm actually really connected with them, but I have a brain fart. I'm tired. <laughs> and so, but anyway, but I want to make sure that they're big up because they are very supportive of different artists and things. I'm make sure that you have Eric May. Famicon online. They have so many different. Famicon? Various, it's Famicon, I think. F A M I C. I think I can't remember which one is their Discord. Yeah. Okay. Um, because they have like Famicon art, Famicon music. I had a whole music Discord. Bro. Yeah, no, theirs sorry. is yeah, theirs is is really good and is very supportive. I'm gonna make sure that I connect you with them because they're very big on big upping. And this is, you know, the Buy Martian merch brand is very uh, nerdy, blurdy, nerdino, mm-hmm. and so that is a group that when they are really on something, they really support it. They are like when you are vulnerable and stuff, and you're talking about how people are gonna be like tearing you down. This is a community that can't wait to uplift. Yeah. That's why I need more of that. And it's so it's I created by Marsh Merch because of this group of people, which I'm in the Nerdy Blurdy Nertino group. Mm. So but I I was at an event, the short version, because you can look it on my website and see it. But the short version is I was in an environment where everyone was being their most vulnerable self. And I realized that so many people in the environment that I was in, that it was in North Carolina, it's in Durham, it's called mm-hmm. Percon. And I realized that they had spent so much of their childhood and their adult life not being accepted. And I didn't understand this because even in being misunderstood most of my own life, I was like, okay, well, so? I mean, I was just going to be me. And I had the opportunity to get another perspective that not everyone else can always just say, well, it is what it is. Like, your problem with me is not my problem with me. Right. And it was so, you know, empathically I could just feel all the emotions of everyone that was there and it was so powerful for me that I literally created a, a brand by Martian merch is not like no decade long brand that I created and it continues to grow into these different things as I get to know other people and connect with them and want it to be a, a source for people's success right but that whole entire group once they love something that you're doing they really love it and even if they don't love it they're not in the business of saying this is trash. Yeah. Right? There, it's not ugly. It's going to be like, I really like this. I like the melody, but I don't particularly care for it. Like you said, you like bass. Say they're a person that doesn't love bass. Which, speaking of which, there's actually a, since you love bass so much, I'm going to also get you connected with a person that's in that group. He's actually here in Houston. Girl, connect me. Okay, so but, we, you got, you got, but that's why I tell people. Even when you're arguing with people, you don't have to say, that's what you did. You just say, I feel like. Mm -hmm. You know, this is what I feel. Even with, you know, Poppy, which is my baby. (laughs) I told him, I'm like, you know, things aren't ugly or things aren't bad. It's just not to your liking. If there's food that you taste that you don't like, you don't say it's nasty. You just say it's not to my liking. Mm -hmm. Um, I just, I don't know. I wish more people were like that. But instead of focusing on the things that I don't like at this point, Mm -hmm. I'm just really trying to surround myself by things that I absolutely appreciate, like, and adore. So, And that's the best way to, to live your life and keep it peaceful. And believe it or not, boundaries are also important. In that's that the way. boundary for me. <laughs> that's the boundary for me. That will keep you. It's not about being your own island. It's just saying, hey, listen, this is where I am right now. You may have known an older version of me that would have been accepting of this, but this new version of me does not. And for that reason, 
either you're going to get on board with what I'm rocking with and get on this island with me, or you can take your boat and canoe on out, my <laughs> We hit the new schools. Last question, and it's a manifestation question. If there was nothing holding you back, so we talked a lot about finances and different situations that you feel like have, in some ways, prevented you from getting to the place that is in your mind to where you are about to be, because we're not going to say where you want to be, where you are about to be, because we manifest okay. even in the question, okay? Mm-hmm. In that mindset of not being held back, not yourself, not your circumstances, not money, not anything, what would you do now? To answer this question, I need you to activate your aspiration and your imagination. What would you do? And I say imagination because we're not keeping it to just what is humanly possible. If you want to be a superhero, Marvel S, DC comic style, you could even be that. So if there was nothing, nothing at all holding Lillian Blanche darling from being the greatness. Oh my God, nothing holding me back. What, What would you be? I would be this <clears throat> very famous singer that just made people cry with emotion mm-hmm. and make people love on people even more than even, they already even do. more than they already do and everybody just match up with the like just when I sing the people who they're supposed to love they are they'll be with the ones they love because I just feel like there's a lot of people out here who are just in relationships that they they're just not they're not supposed to be there but I just just traveling the freaking world like getting rest whenever I want to traveling the world and just singing effortlessly and just having this big ass team help me make this shit happen where i had a trusted big ass team yeah i mean and i mean because i mean you said the limits you know what i'm saying so i'm sitting here thinking to myself if people are listening if you could be a part of the team you better tap in you better tap in. no seriously (laughs) i mean just this big ass team to where everybody just collectively works together so i can just travel the world and sing and have a friend near me like i can just i just want a big ass house where everybody lives together nobody talks trash about each other everybody understands each other and accepts everybody as they are but so much space that if you don't want to see anybody you don't have to see anybody but you can see everybody and then you know a friend like i want i want positive family and friends living at this house and that the money just takes care of all of us to where we can sleep when we want to. And when we're on, we're on. And when we're off, we're off. We can visit each other in different rooms. Some, you know, people come pile up and have family bed and just talk and just eat food and watch movies and fall asleep together. And then when everybody wants to leave, they can just get up and leave and go to their room. But we can just all visit each other. But, um, and then I would have like a private plane and a private boat. But I would definitely, like, whenever, like, you know, I just want to wake up some days and be like, hey, you want to just fly here? And we, you know, me and Poppy and Christian, if, you know, he were back home, um, would just, you know, just get up and leave. But just have a host of family and friends who, if they needed to live with us, they did. And it's just kind of like a compound. Yeah, I was going to say, it sounds like a very beautiful compound. So you would want to be a utopian goddess. Mm, is that what I want to be, darling? That's what you want to be, darling. And I want my love to be with me, like be in the house and be a leader, but it just be so working, just a workflow. Mm-hmm. Like, because, you know, if they had children or if they didn't have children, I want them to be able to accept everybody around. Like, I would accept their children, mm-hmm. but I just, you know, my love language is cooking. So I would like cook, or Poppy could cook, or anybody, everybody that just, kid can cook. Yes. <laughs> can take chances just like cooking because I love I love food and sleep and performing. Mm-hmm. And I would have a studio in my house but it would just be so big and I love luxury. I think for so long I just, you know, just coming up with my Nana, there were very nice things that I love. I love quality things and it wasn't just to be boastful or to, you know, show it off to anybody, but I think with luxury comes comfort. Mm-hmm. 
So um, whether it be clothes, whether it be and like in a house, stability. yeah, and a feeling of stability. And so, um, you know, a gentleman who I was talking to, I don't know if I told you this, but he <laughs> just said, focus on the things that you prefer. If it's not what you prefer, then you won't have it. But if you prefer that, then that's what will come. But it's like, I prefer him and he's not here. <laughs> like, Are you fuck? listening, sir? Are you listening? No, he's probably not going to be oh, listening. Okay. But, um, but that's what I would prefer because he asked me, he was like, why are you in Houston? And I was just like, I mean, I want to be near water. Cause he was like, what do you want to be? And I said, I want to be, I want, I would love my house to be like by the beach. You know, mm-hmm. I love water because just me and my nana used to get up when we used to go to the beach every year. It was a tradition. Mm-hmm. I learned how to swim when I was like six months. So we had a beach house uh, every black year. Black superhero. Listen. Yes, black mermaid as she plays with her long tresses <laughs> on the couch. <laughs> um, but we would get up at 5 a.m. She would come. She would wake me up. She'd be like, Cece, um, do you, let's, let's go um, go walk around the beach. And she used to try to get my siblings up, and they would never get up. Mm-hmm. And um, me and her would just walk the beach and watch the sunrise. We would both make our cups of tea. Mm-hmm. Um, and we would just go walking on the beach until the sun rose. And then we would head back home. And so I desire to do that because it just gave me peace and comfort. Um, sometimes my siblings got up, but um, waking up to that... It's just like my biggest dream. But anyway, I said to him, I said, I want to I wanna live at a beach. And mm-hmm. he was just like, okay, but like, if you had just like the perfect thing, like what, like what would it be? And I was like, well, I just want a huge house and I would love to house my parents, even though like mm-hmm. it's, it's kind of testy with my mom. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I think if she were like a better person, um, I wouldn't mind. But I just, you know, sometimes people just are not. Her, 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 her lived experiences have made her be that way and so I, you know I give her grace but um in the ideal world I would house my parents and I would house my siblings and my children and we just all be in this house um or even my spouse's family you know what I'm saying I just want family I just really just want family and love and so he said um well that's not um that's not at a beach or anything he was just like you just want a home and a family and and I'm like, wow, I'm thinking about this now. That's now. very powerful. You help me censor your thoughts on that topic. Yeah. And <laughs> um, so he was just like, well, you know, you're in Houston for a reason. So, like, finish up what you have to do in Houston and come back home. But, you know, to just. I just want to point out that. So they're in North Carolina. Girl, yeah. So I'm chuckling because she's like, oh, well, I want to know when he's not here. But he's telling me, girl, do what you got to do and come back. I'm just saying. <laughs> girl, what you see in the messages, girl? <laughs> oh, okay, it's that's that what it was, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, but I mean, we're gonna talk a lot about that. Yeah, I don't even know that. But part. even if it <laughs> were him, or if it was somebody else, it's somebody with somebody I prefer. But I mean, if we mention him, he is where I found peace because I like me having a home makes me feel grounded, mm-hmm. and um, because I'm an air sign, so I'm mm-hmm. so airy. And yes, it just, just feels like I'm in air and flowing. Yeah, and I need <laughs> something to, I need stability and peace to ground me. And it's just like, I needed him. I really needed him. And then my brother just told me, he was like, I probably didn't find out about my friend passing at home because it wouldn't have sat in well with me. And he passed right before my birthday. Mm-hmm. So he was like, I don't think you were supposed to find out, you know. Because um, you really look like you enjoyed your birthday. Girl, did it. I was so stressed. Really? Well, the, and again, what did you just say about Instagram? Instagram is the facade. Because yeah. I, like, I was like, dang, I should have got my ticket to Charlotte, North Carolina. Is that what I'm, I'm making shit look like this? But I mean, you know what, for my birthday, I was preferring that the guy be with me. Mm. Did he know that? He probably didn't. And he probably looked at it online like, oh, well, she's having fun without me. She doesn't need me. You know, men need communication. Well, listen, I communicated. He, he doubled down on the fuckery. Like, I, why would you not want? Don't you prefer me? Don't you prefer the peace that we have? Am I not the preference, darling? Am I how you held my hand? You felt the peace that was here. So you felt the vibe. You felt the vibe. You know, 
even though it was short lived, I mean, you know, it was what it was. Um, mm-hmm. But I just prefer love and peace and for things to come with ease. Yes, my flower child. And so, if in an ideal world, I'll be able to um, just create, create, create as much as I can, teach those who are around me, and just wake up to peace. And, and I love luxury. I love nice things. I love a nice house. I love nice clothes. I love jewelry, gold jewelry to be specific. Because my mother would have me in gold jewelry, but I've, ne- you know, I've never gotten to have these things since my grandmother passed away. Mm-hmm. And so sometimes I psych myself out of having those things or getting those things and I just don't know how to get back to those things. But then, I mean, I guess if you have a life of luxury, how the fuck, what do you write about? Mm-hmm. <laughs> if, if, if life was easy, what do That's you write true, about? That's because I hate to say it, sometimes when someone gets to a certain level of, of success success, and... Or what like, other they make it to success. Right, whatever. what they mm-hmm. feel like is success. And it seems like life ain't complicated. Them songs don't hit the same. But I think it's because their life is at a level that people are still aspiring to. So they can't identify with it. And mm-hmm. someone is in their darker places. You know, songs, music in general is a very holistic experience. Whether it's instrumental or has the sound of a melodic William Blanche on it. Mm-hmm. Like, it always makes you feel something. Like, there hasn't been a song that you have let me listen to that I haven't been like, I could feel it. Maybe not that moment, mm. but I could feel it on a day. There's mm. a day that I've experienced that a Lillian Blanche song would go with. You get what I'm saying? Got you. Um, but, yeah, anyway. Let me go ahead and wrap this up. Anything else that you want by Marsha Merch, by Marsha Merch, by Marsha Merch, Marsha Merch, to know about? Hmm. I don't know if it's I want them to know about it, but I hope that they will be encouraged to actually follow me and actually listen to me. Put me in their playlist. If it's not their vibe, suggest it to somebody whose vibe it is. Pay it forward. Um, Because I can't be an artist if I don't have fans. Right. And so I would love to be an artist. So I guess, (laughs) if anything, support me in being being an artist. My YouTube, my YouTube videos are just, you know, sometimes I'm like, maybe I shouldn't sing. Maybe it's just my life because people are like, oh my gosh, you need your own show because you're so crazy. And I'm like, oh my God. It can all roll into everything. I mean, it's like you want to be an actor sometimes. Girl, I don't even feel like I know how to act anymore because learning a script is a no for me. I've gotten to the age where I say, I don't even want to know <laughs> shit. I don't want to learn shit. I just want to be, I literally just want to exist. Well, then- Mm-hmm. I mean, just like how you wanted this podcast conversation to be raw, people, because there's such a lack of authenticity, like that's probably why TikTok is so popular because it, it's very you know, raw and uncut, essentially. I mean, people mm-hmm. are taking the time to spice their stuff up to make it look good, too. Don't get me wrong. But it's a lot of, I mean, it's a lot of rough edges to it. Yeah. And so sometimes on the path to what you're doing, and I can attest for this with all the different things that I'm into. Like this vlog is that's the only thing that I do clearly. Um, you find yourself finding other avenues to tie into that will either help you get to that place or it'll be able to go alongside of what you want to do. So using you as an example again, your goal is to be a music artist that has fans. And the reason why I wanted you to do this podcast with me today is so that anyone who's already a fan or anyone who's potentially going to become a fan can know that you're a human being that they can identify with. Yeah, for sure. You know, like you said, you're not being high vibrational and looking down on anyone. You're not condescending on anyone. You are saying, this is who I am. Some of my opinions are, are popular. Some of them are unpopular. But I'm giving them to you because I'm giving you the raw version of William Blanche. Mm-hmm. And what I have found, and I had to find this out with my own brands, that I used to try to take a really, really arm's length approach to my brands and just kind of this is information because I'm an informative person. And while people were connecting to me, I used to be a gamer, so they would connect because I was a gamer, but I was still keeping everything at arm's length. When I realized 
at the core of everything I'm doing, I'm the brand. And people want to see that even though I'm a Martian, I have a side that's not robotic and not plain, like straight laced and to the point. They want to see that I can zigzag. Mm -hmm. That's when I gained not just followers and supporters, but authentic ones. What I mean by that is the organic ones that tap in. Yeah. Sometimes I won't be on Instagram for a while just because life is life and or I need to focus on other things or my money is not really coming from Instagram as we discussed before. Yeah. And so because it's not, I got to go where the money is because these bills don't pay themselves. That's a perk. But when I go back and post them to my stories, it's like 60 people go to them stories. They be like, girl, where you been? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so to me, who I used to have pages that had thousands and thousands of followers, which Instagram took away, which we'll talk about that another day. Yeah. The algorithm and the guidelines is just on that stuff. But um, this page, my By Martian page, my at Queen By Anita, my AN, <laughs> on just about every platform that we've discussed today. Um, that one to me has gained me the most authentic people that are tapped in and locked in mm -hmm. people who just come by sometimes and people who are just religiously they're like oh she posts something let me go look at it yeah yeah but I also my marshes are kind of like very private so they're like dmers but not inappropriately like they'll be like oh this is really nice i want to know more about this and so they just they're kind of like looky loo but they're going to also engage they're going to participate they're going to repost my things and that's exciting for me that because i'm putting yeah. that out there for you to do so in you being your brand, bringing it back to what you just said, something that you may want to explore or toy around with, even at a, um, at a test level, at a beta test level, is finding a way to organize it, yes, but to show an unscripted version of yourself. And I have a few ideas that I'll share with you offline so that you maybe can do it that way. Because the thing about you is you don't have a fear of being vulnerable in front of others. And it's probably because of your really intense and really expressive way of wanting to show and receive love. You understand that there's a reciprocity with love and you let people know, I expect reciprocity, but I also give it. Right. And right. so in being that type of person, it's kind of like, what is that 70s song? All we need is love. Mm -hmm. that, that song, it's kind of like you are the embodiment of that at this time and you never know who might need that you know it's like even with everything that we've discussed here i am confident that someone is going to hear this either in our in my orbit or your orbit when it's shared and um, with your you know with your group of followers and i know someone is going to be touched so yeah. even if it's just one person and whether they let you know or not i promise you we didn't have this conversation that way we had this conversation for it to only be an interesting conversation for us to have together. This was a conversation that was meant for other people, not just for our brands, but for themselves to connect with. And if that is the type of person that you are, then that is the person that hopefully you don't mind creating and sharing with the world in a way that's not just through music. Because mm. the, they're going to gravitate to the music because they're going to see the human being behind it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Kosher. Kosher. Say it. Write me down. Write me down. <laughs> All right, Martian. So go ahead and give them uh, the way to connect with you once again. Um, Lillian Blanche. I mean, if you Google Lillian Blanche, it'll take you to <laughs> just everything. about everything she is. My artist name is Lillian Blanche, but on YouTube, it's like YouTube. Lillian Blanche, forward slash Lillian Blanche. Mm -hmm. TikTok is, is uh, Lily Goat Gruff Music. Instagram is Lily Goat Gruff. Twitter is Lily Goat Gruff. Even though I want to change these names, mm -hmm. I mean, I just, I guess for the most part, just go to. I think Google. Lily Goat Gruff is clever. For those who didn't have like Aesop fables or things in there, which it's a playoff of Billy Goat Gruff. Yeah. And so when I first saw her name, I was like, look at her. Yeah. <laughs> Look at yeah, her over there. Yeah. So if you're not familiar with the play on words, because yeah. I love stories, I love right. stories, and I love um, yeah. Okay. Well, stories and words. Martians, this has been an almost two-hour expression I'm of sorry, love Martians. and music and artistry and vulnerability. We definitely hope that you connected with it and that you could feel inspired, no matter what you're aspiring to do. 
Um, we're going to wrap it up. Definitely check out. Uh, this is going to be on all the By Martian things, all the social media. Again, that's at B U Y M A R T I A N. The website is bymartian.com. Um, this will be also on the By Martian digital page. So, you know, I have two now. By Martian digital is where I'm about to un unlatch the gate on information so I can keep you guys informed and inspired. And of course, the blog from AdLibs to Zephyrs is the blog F A Z, which is blogphase.com. The blogphase.com. Thank you for listening. And please comment below and ask all your questions. And I'll make sure Miss Lillian Blanche, <sighs> Utopian Goddess, Utopian Goddess, the Utopian Goddess gets all the questions so she can give you all the answers. And I know you guys heard that she's trying to build a team. So if you're just starting out or if you know something that we don't know about the industry and you want to tap in and then ultimately lock in with this woman and the Please. greatness that she is currently on the path to be, then do so. Please. Okay, Please. have tenacity. Put yourself out there and we'll consider you in it's the future. Her, her. <laughs> Take care, Marcia. <laughs>